Yep, you see the title in the thumbnail. You already know we about to level up that mac and cheese with pepper jack mac and cheese. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Y'all ready? Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Back here we have our macaroni. We have some half and half here. Some pepper jack cheese, of course. Cheddar cheese. Now, guys, if you want to use all pepper jack, you can do that. Some chopped jalapenos here. Some jalapeno powder here. Some cream cheese. We got it at room temperature. Some dry parsley. Got some butter here. Creole seasoning. Smoked paprika. And we have one egg right there. So, let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our macaroni and cheese. So I got some boiling water here. I'm gonna add a little salt to that. We're gonna add our pasta shells, or pasta, whatever you wanna call it. They're not shells, I guess. And we're gonna bring that back up to a boil and we're gonna let that cook for seven to 10 minutes until al dente, all right? All right, so it looks like we are good with our pasta. We're gonna go ahead and turn our heat off. We're gonna get this drained and we're gonna come right back. All right, so once we drain our pasta, we're gonna bring it back over to our stove and we're just gonna add our butter here. We're gonna allow that to start melting. And when your butter starts to melt, you just wanna, you wanna coat that in your butter, just like this. And once it's fully melted, guys, we're just gonna let it sit there briefly and we're gonna head over to our cooktop and we're gonna start preparing our cheese sauce. All right, let's go and turn our cooktop on and over a low heat, we're gonna add our half and half and our egg. We're gonna whisk that together immediately. Guys, I'm gonna add about tables, two tablespoons of flour. I know that wasn't an ingredients list. I'm gonna add that in there. We're gonna get that whisked in. We're gonna come behind that with our cream cheese and we're gonna let that melt and get it stirred in also. And we're gonna keep whisking this until it's all melted. I'm gonna hit that with a little black pepper. And once that's all melted, we're gonna go in with a cup of our cheddar and a cup of our pepper jack, along with our jalapenos, our jalapeno powder, that smoked paprika, some of that parsley, and our Creole seasoning. And we're gonna get this whisked in until it's smooth. Just like that, man, that's looking good there. All right, once it's smooth, let's head back over to our stove where our pasta is so we get this pasta coated in this cheese sauce. All right, so now we're gonna take our cheese sauce. We're gonna add it here to our pasta. And all we're gonna do is get this mixed in like this. All right, looks like we're good there. We're gonna head back over to our cutting board so we can add it to our baking dish and get it in the oven. All right, so we're at our baking dish right here. So I'm not using a really big baking dish. It's not a lot of us here, so I'm not gonna cook all this pasta right now. We're gonna save some, but we're gonna add it here to this baking dish, probably half of it, like that. Now you wanna take half of your cheese, add it right here like that. Now we're gonna take some more of our pasta. We're gonna to top it. And we're gonna take the remaining of our cheese. Just gonna to add to the top like that. Guys, we're gonna put this in our oven on 350 degrees. We're gonna let it bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna pull it out, throw it on the broiler to brown that cheese. Then we're gonna be ready to go. All right, let's get it in the oven. Guys, before I get in the oven, you know I gotta add them jalapenos in here, man. I don't know what the world I'm thinking about. And this is just optional. You don't have to add them jalapenos here. All right, now let's get it in the oven. And this is what we have about 12 minutes into our oven. Now, you can eat it just like that or you could brown the top, but I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I like the way this look right here. I don't think I'm browning the top. I'm gonna eat it just like this. So let's go ahead and get into the final presentation, get it plated up and into quality control. And 
there you have it, guys. Pepper Jack Mac and Cheese. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. We're going to go ahead and jump into quality control because it's time to test it out. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, we're back in here. Quality control. Let's bring that Pepper Jack Mac and Cheese to the front of the congregation. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and try it out without further ado. Look at man, cheesy. Oh man. Man. It's good. Mm. Just want to get creative. Try something new. Try this pepper jack mac and cheese. Instead of mixing cheddar with it, add some smoked gouda. You know what? I thought about that when I had the cheddar. I said I should have got smoked gouda. Along with that pepper jack would have been fire. So this one is fire. That would have been even fire. Fireier. Is that a word? I don't care. I'm from Alabama. Hey, until then, all wings, everything. Remember, not chef. Just cook a lot. And I'm out. Peace.